we're back with another review more uh top loader well not top loader but this one is a binder and it's a giant binder look at this thing this one's even bigger i think than the top loader binder i did it's massive but this one is built to house uh, semi-rigid top loaders things like card saver one and card saver two i believe this might be for card saver one we'll have to see i actually have some cards here that I've got here in Card Saver 1. So hopefully this is for that. If not, because I mean, it is pretty big. It looks like it would house Card Saver 1. So that's what we're basing this on. If not, I can just go grab uh, some Card Saver 2 cards and we'll do it that way. But that's what this binder is built to house. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it and see how it is. It's made by a company called D Dacket. Yeah, D and then the word Dacket. So it is a little different. So let's, uh, let's break this out of its plastic housing and let's go over it and see about the quality and then we'll load some cards into it. All right. There we go. Ooh, this thing is still amazes me, man. These, some of these binders that I'm getting in for review are just huge, just huge. Wow, look at this thing. this thing. It's not that heavy. It just happened to bump against my table. Look at that. It's got a little design in the front. But yeah, again, it fills up my entire camera because it's that big. I'm going to actually have to make some room here. I've got some cards I need to move. All right, come on. Move over there, cards. You move a little bit. Okay, so uh, outside feels nice. This feels kind of standard to what I'm used to seeing now on a lot of these... Uh, a lot of these card holders, these binders, very nice. Um, eh, it can get scratched a little bit, but I mean, it's a binder. It's probably going to get scratched, <laughs> especially if you travel around with it. Uh, backside is exactly the same thing. Stitching, let's see here. I don't know if you can see this, but it's a little bit of stitching issues there. Not too bad. That's actually pretty normal that I've seen for a lot of binders like this. They've always got a little, a little few spots here and there where the uh, stitching isn't quite right. All right. Let's try our zipper here. Feels fine. It's got the little uh, little rubber nub on it there. It's kind of like a soft feel, feeling sort of nub. All right, now let's see. Man, I'm gonna have to really make some room here. Okay, stuff, you're gonna have to move over. <laughs> I usually don't have to go this far out. Okay, here we go. Oh, let's open this thing up. And wow. Okay, so we've got. Here. Okay. So again, I apologize if you can't see it that well. The camera does try to pick up the black, but I mean, it's when it's all black, it's hard to see. But yeah, there you go. I'll put my hands there, so you can kind of see. Okay. So it looks like it does actually do card saver one from the looks of it. These things are huge. Uh, let me grab my ruler just so we can get a measurement here of how tall these suckers are. That is a good. Wow, almost five and a quarter inches. And as far as wide, about three and two fifths. Okay, so yeah, it's, I'm sorry for the weird <laughs> math there. Okay, the inside, wow, okay. So this is a little bit different than some of the others I've found. This does not have the little clamps here that you usually see with some of these binders. These are actually sewn into the actual binder itself. So these are non-removable. So yeah, if you were looking to possibly add additional sleeves like this to this thing, it's simply not possible because as you can see here, they're sewn in. So there's no taking them out, unfortunately. Let's see, I've got the back here. Again, it feels fairly soft, but there is no padding. So do keep that in mind. I would hope that there have been at least a little bit of padding there, but yeah, no padding on this at all. Again, the inside, let me check the stitching. A little nub right there. Looks okay there. Let's jump to the back. Stitching looks good there. A little bit of a, a little bit of felt or something right there. What is that? Yeah, I think that's just felt. Okay, stitching looks good here. I'm actually gonna give it a, a bit of a tug. See if it can take some, some punishment. Seems to be holding up okay. Fairly decent stitching. We'll do it down here too. A little tug. Nothing. Okay, we're good. Uh, oh, we got a little ding here, it looks like. 
Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, there's a little ding right there that's already in the plastic. Yeah, that, that is really unfortunate. Other than that, the sleeves themselves do feel okay. The inside is kind of like uh, that standard mesh sort of stuff they put in all these binders. And the plastic that they're using, uh, again, fairly standard stuff. Looks like it is just kind of pushed in there. Feels okay. Feels like it should hold up under regular use. Uh, obviously, if you're going to be abusive toward the product, it, it is going to it's going to give a little bit. So yeah, but let's go ahead and see. We can get our card saver one cards. Let's see if we can put some of these in here. All right, so we got ourselves our wandering century guard from Mirrodin. Yes, an actual foil from Mirrodin. And boom, that is perfect. These these are yeah, this is made specifically for card saver one. Yeah, look how easy these things are going in there. That's actually really nice. They just go right in. Oops, that was two cards. And then these, are, I'm not putting them in any particular order. I'm just <laughs> kind of working with it. Let's do the back side over here. Mystic Denial. I don't even remember that card from the WoW TCG. Oh, well, that's a small Ultra Pro. Well, how'd you get in there? How'd you get in there, Tiny? You go over there. <laughs> this little Ultra Pro one got mixed in with my, my card saver one. All right, I want to fill one of these pages up completely just to see how it feels when you actually have to turn it. And again, this is only half full because I'm not doing the back. Okay, so let's see. Feels okay. Let me fill up a bit of the back and then we'll try it again here. Again, I don't think I actually have enough cards to actually fill up the whole thing, although I could pull the cards from the front. Let's put this down right here. Yeah, they do actually fit in there fairly well, and they don't look like they would move around very much either. That actually feels okay. Yeah, no problem there. No problem at all. And that feels okay there too. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually kind of impressed. This is a huge binder again, like I said, it's very, very big. Where's my ruler? This thing is well over a foot tall. Uh, let me see if I can get my inches. In fact, here, I'll close it real quick. Let me get a quick outside measurement. Okay, so that's gonna be easily 12 inches there. And again, this is just an estimate. Yeah, this thing is approximately 18 inches tall. And again, approximate here. Yeah, about 13 and a half inches wide. And as far as its depth, we'll go from the fat side. Uh, and again, this is not loaded. Of course, when you load it up with cards, it may be a bit thicker. Uh, about two and a quarter inches thick. So yeah, when you fill it up with cards, it is going to get a bit get, get a bit thicker. So I imagine it's going to get probably closer to two and a half inches thick. So yeah, this is a big boy. So if you've got room for it and you've got a bunch of cards that you want to stick in Card Saver 1, those are the bigger ones, in case you're wondering. Card Saver 2 is the smaller one, which is about this size. As you can see, there is a significant size difference. But yeah, if you've got uh, some card saver one, I guess just for the heck of it, let's put in this little card saver one here. One. I mean, technically, you, you obviously could put in the, the, the card saver two. Uh, my fear is it's gonna bounce around a little bit more in there, so it's more likely to just accidentally slide out. I feel better putting the card saver ones in here. So yeah, but there you go. Yeah, uh, actually pretty nice. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with it. The, the build quality is good. Um, the plastic feels pretty standard, pretty normal. The, uh, the materials quality is also fairly standard, pretty good. Uh, beside the fact that there are a couple of little stitching issues here, which, like I said, is pretty normal uh, for these types of products. I mean, heck, you can buy a pair of jeans from a well-known brand like Levi's, and they uh, will have little stitching miss, miss, you know, imperfections here and there on, on their garments. That's pretty normal. But yeah, this thing is actually pretty nice. Again, uh, I will put a link down in the description, an affiliate link in the description, if you decide to check out this binder. I would say, if you're in the market for this kind of product, um, it's actually pretty nice. I can't really think of anything negative to say about it, other than the very minor stitching issue, but like I said, that's not even really an issue, because that's pretty normal. Um, yeah, I would say buy it. Pretty good. Depends on the price, obviously, if you're in the market and it's within your price range. But yeah, I would, if I were looking for, for something like this, I would definitely buy it. Again, thanks for checking out the video, guys. Uh, I really appreciate it. Again, links are going to be down in the description. Uh, like, subscribe, all the YouTuber stuff, and we'll see you next time.